starting in Fife, we'll board the train at Cowdenbeath train station. We'll then pass over the fourth rail bridge, arriving at Edinburgh Waverley station. From there, we'll cycle through the city, heading for our final Holy Grail destination, Roslyn. Well, good morning. It's another fine spring morning. And today we do Triumph Trekker GT Quest the Holy Grail. And this is a real quest and we are looking for the real Holy Grail. So we're heading today for Roslyn in Midlothian. And in order to get there we have to take the train from Cowdenbeath to Edin Edinburgh Waverley. Edinburgh city centre to Roslyn and I'm on this this uh, kind of main road but I found a little um, a cycle track behind me and hopefully I'll be able to cycle on that um, through this busy traffic because I'm about to approach a, a very uh, busy junction a big roundabout and I may just go through the town of Lonehead to escape the main road I decided to stop at this uh, industrial estate just by Lone Head to get some sandwiches and uh, get some fluids because remember the golden rule is you need to have enough food for energy to cycle so I stopped here just now. <laughs> spot here at Roslyn Castle and Roslyn is the place if you've read the Da Vinci Code book by Dan Brown and if you've seen the movie starring Tom Hanks you'll know that Roslyn is the place of the Holy Grail this is where it is and there's a story that when Roslyn Chapel was being constructed there was an apprentice sculptor who sculpted what's called the Apprentice Pillar. And the story goes that the Master Mason was so jealous of this amazing feat of work that he actually murdered the Apprentice. And hence the pillar is called the Apprentice Pillar. 
which you can see online or in books. Here we are doing a wee bit of off-roading on the Roslyn to Pennycook cycle path. I got a bit lost because the actual sign is in green. I thought it would be in blue for the typical cycle route indicator, but I'm glad we found it. So let's see what this is like. It's a bit slippy, not too bad again. Ah, Trekker is designed for this kind of stuff. Mild off-roading. So I, I got a little bit lost. I came off the path, then came onto the road and didn't know whether to turn left or right. Eventually I recognised the place called Lee Farm from the guidebook and headed back towards Pennycook. So I'm finally on the path, hopefully I'll not need to deviate too much again so we've only got three miles to get to Pennycook so I may end up just coming back along this path to get back to Edinburgh because Pennycook's getting further and further away from the town centre and I'm uh, I want to be careful I don't overdo it and do too many miles today like I'm going to have to negotiate these stairs uh, to continue on the, the path. So I'm going to have a look to see how many there are. If there's only a few, uh, then I'll see if I can get the bike up the stairs. If not, I'll have to turn back. Well, I managed to get the bike up the stairs by pushing it along the side track, which is hard work. But look, I've got more to come. I definitely don't want to come down this road. I think I'll go back all the main roads when I get to Pennycook. Alright, onwards. So I've come to the end of the cycle path into Pennycook, it was really good, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I don't remember reading about the stairs in the guide, but never mind, I'm glad we got over the stairs. So I now have to make the trip back to Edinburgh Waverley, and I'm trying to decide whether to go back the way I came along the cycle path for Roslyn again, or just to take the main roads from uh, Pennycook back to the town centre. So I'm going to have a rest next, and have a drink and then make my way back. So I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, Grail quest. Triumph Trekker GT does the Grail quest to Roslyn. Hope you enjoyed it and join me next time for the next adventure. Bye for now.